is Topps rookie card. 1990 Topps, right? Cool card. I mean, obviously during the junk wax era, and you can see I have a couple of the rookie cards. We're going to show a couple here on the podcast, and I think it's going to be pretty neat. So like we kind of talked about before, he's Canadian. He was actually born in Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, that was back in 66, 12-1 of 66. So I kind of remember reading about his minor league career. It didn't start off the best, but they kind of kept moving him up, and his batting average kept getting better. And it was kind of hard for them to explain, but, you know, you look back at his 85, he's batting 223, they move him up, it's 289. They move him up, it's 283. They move him up, it's 287. And then he even gets up to Indianapolis, and he's still batting 270 after coming back from a pretty significant knee injury, I believe. So just kind of a cool story. Um, you know, when he first started, because he had such limited exposure to professional baseball, didn't even play, he didn't even have a high school team, he said for like the first year he didn't think he hit a, a curveball or a slider. <laughs> so... You know, once he started seeing those professional level curveballs, it took him a little while, but um, caught on pretty quick. This card is very eye appealing to me. I like the border. You get the Expos in the top left, nice tops logo that complements the background in the top right of the card. Yeah, Larry Walker leaning up against the fence, just pondering his future that turns out to be one of the Hall of Fame caliber players of all time. I like the hat. And you the know, Montreal Expos uniform, yeah, is what I wanted to comment like on. Super cool. Red, so it's got the red back, it's got the white front, and then the blue. How about know, those baby blue gloves, yeah, too, to matches, match? Matches that just, that too. wow. Yeah. Just makes that and red pop red so good. Too. Yeah, I really do like that. Larry Walker, man. What a beast.